a shovel womb to the remnant, the hopeful elect, 144,000 and one third of the nation of Israel, so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans in confusion of faces scattered across the four corners of the earth. I'm going to start out by giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone that taught us this beautiful truth. I wanted to get into these precepts that reference the significance of prophecy and that it's the foundation of the ministry of the prophets. Hence that term, one who speaks before or prophesies, right? Okay, of events that are to come. And the ultimate, that ultimate event is the ushering in of the Heavenly Father's kingdom. Okay, and that's why minist- uh, the crux of the ministry of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is prophecy. Okay. Start off in Revelation 19 and 10. Because you got these other Israelite camps that focus on the less weighty matters in these scriptures. Going into nation building and the law and conduct, which all hold their importance. All right. But none more than that of prophecy. Okay which the dissemination, all right, which means the spreading of the word of prophecy should be taking up the majority of the pie, okay? But this further shows and reveals who are them that truly serve Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And we're going to show that in the scriptures, okay? That's why it tells us that it's it's up for you to discern these things, all right? And ultimately, as well, this is a very nominal, infinitesimal, meaning a very small, tiny amount of Jakes are going to truly hold this office of a true prophet of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that's why ultimately, out of, of course, humility, we it's, it's a, a, a healthy balance of humility and confidence. But ultimately, of just ultimate humility of being subject to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's will and the fate that will reveal in the end who really truly was. Okay. But there are indicators. It says in Revelation 19 and 10, and I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Okay. So the spirit of prophecy holds the most significance in the testimony of the Most High and Yahweh Shai. Did it not tell you that he came to do the Father's bidding? All right. So if that's the testimony of Yahweh Shai, I best believe it is of the Most High. Okay. It would talk, it's, it's talked about how in these scriptures, how the Most High spoke through the seers, through the, the prophets that were called the seers of old, likened them to a seer, but they were in an intermediary between the Most High and men. Okay. That's the only one that he ultimately communicates with. The scriptures say that the Most High will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto the servants, the prophets. All right. First Peter 4 and 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of the Most High. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which the Most High giveth that the Most High in all things may be glorified through Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Okay. So if any man speak, if he utter anything out of his mouth, let it be the oracle of the Most High. That doesn't mean that he can't uh, speak about anything else, but that should hold the most weight of the dissemination of this word, okay? The spreading of this word. 
it should be mostly consumed with prophecy, then that's really going into the profession. Okay. What does it say that in... uh, Um, Salakia drew a fucking blank. Let's see this profession, right? This being a profession, hold fast, right? There it is. Um, Hebrews 10 and 3 let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering for he is faithful that promise that promised okay this goes into the profession of the man of the most high is to prophesy okay is to speak according to the oracles all right and we're going to break it out bring it out it goes into that in Sirach the 39th chapter okay about being occupied it means the same thing when you go into occupied till i come Occupado would go into an occupation, which is a synonymous with a profession. Okay, we're to be occupied in prophecy, likened into it being your occupation. Okay, so we're to speak according to the oracles of Yahweh Hashem It says, "Oracle in the etymology on line it is a message from the Most High, expressed by divine inspiration." Through a priest, okay? So, an oracle is literally a prophecy, okay? A message from the Most High expressed by divine inspiration, okay? Whoa, check it. In answer to a human inquiry, usually respecting some future event. That's literally prophecy. Okay, a message from the Most High expressed by a divine inspiration through a priest of uh, usually respecting some future event. It's prophecy. Okay, so of any man speak, that's the primary, is prophecy. Everything else comes secondary. Okay, but that's why the true men of Yahweh Shem Shai that have stand and stood the test of time, okay? Through the strength of the Most High, all right? This is not of men. That's why you, you it's being revealed that a prophet has been among you, that prophets have been among you, okay? Through evidence of the men, the elders, the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, okay, that have carried the mantle with prophecy, okay, the ministry of prophecy. And just as it said, when these, that these things are coming to pass, okay, then you, then you shall know. So, 39, it says, but he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High, and is occupied in the meditation thereof, will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. Okay. So giving your mind to the Most High, that's what comes with giving your mind to the Most High. Okay. It's to be occupied in prophecies. For crying out loud, the kingdom is the climax of prophecy, all right? And that's what not only the men of Yahweh Shemiyahu long for, but all of the Most High's creation longs for, man, okay? The, the, it speaks about the creation groaneth for the, for, uh, for the kingdom, ultimately, for the manifestation of the sons of the Most High. And what kind of state of, of life is it going to be? Okay. What is going to be this, the, um, the uh, standard of living? Right. Um, what is going to be the state of, of being 
of life, okay, in the kingdom. Well, hence the, hence the term life is going to be true life for the first fucking time for all of creation, okay? So the kingdom is the climax of prophecy. So how could you not be occupied in the oracles of Yahweh Shem Shai, in these future events, all these occurrences in the prophetic timeline, okay, that are that have been orchestrated and set up by the Most High from the beginning. All right, and finishing off in Jeremiah twenty-eight, the eighth chapter. Uh, it's like in the eighth verse, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Okay. This going into the content of the prophecy, all right, of the, of the prophets of the Most High. They weren't going into uh, peace. Okay, they weren't going into, because that ultimately is false prophecy. Okay, they didn't fucking tell the people lies like ultimately um, they long for. All right, that's what they desire to the point that they put the prophets to death. Okay, and then erected a fucking false prophet that would, that would, uh, that would tell them lies, prophesy lies and deceits unto them, okay? But the evidence of the authenticity of a prophet, okay? The authenticity of a prophet is evident if, um, Slovakia. died so it's just the fucking volume is trash salakia all right fucking shatan so it's evident that a man is a, a true prophet of yahweh bashim yahushai he's prophesying about fucking uh division about death and destruction about these things that were outlined and itemized here in the eighth verse Okay, just as it says, prophesying against many countries, against king, great kingdoms of war, of evil, and of pestilence. All right, it says the prophet which prophesies of peace when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known. That Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Chai, hath truly sent him. Okay? So, the prophet that prophesies of peace, you're going to know when the destruction comes. All right? When the, the, the word of the true prophet comes to pass, which is just aforementioned with war, evil, and pestilence, when that really comes to pass, you're going to know that the prophets that were prophesying about peace were not sent. You're going to know that they weren't sent by the Most High. Okay? Because the Most High is not bringing peace to the earth. Okay? It's going to be um, universal, not even global. The Most High is going to allow the Israelites to go into the, the new frontier, what Esau calls the new frontier. Okay, this man has, has uh, he has uh, contaminated and defiled all the different, um, pretty much, um, frontiers down here on Earth, right? From going into different land masses and going into the sea. And he hasn't got, he hasn't um, traversed all of it. But he's done enough, okay, to where he's um, he's destroyed this fucking place, right? But the Mo 
both heart has, has not and will not allow him to cross over into the new f- or the next frontier that he calls, right? It's, it's fucking, are you kidding? The, uh, the galaxies, man. Okay, we're talking about more planets than you can even write out the number for, okay? Quintillion, it's like one with 18 zeros. The amount of planets in this, in, in this, uh, universe and counting all right it's a new it's almost innumerable okay the most high has fucking locked this man to that shit but just to, to fathom the the true peace that is going to be in the kingdom all right but you got to understand just like it says everything is decent to be done decently and in order when you go into that order go means uh, taxis, okay? And it's not just according to a hierarchy of men. It's also according to the order of operations, okay? The prophetic timeline, the order of operations, in what order certain things are going to occur, all right? The order that these prophecies are going to occur in, and that ultimate climax of the establishment of the kingdom is going to come after death and destruction. And that's why the, the, uh, the prophets of the Most High prophesy of war and evil and destruction. Because that's what's going on earth now in a brutal fucking way to get to, uh, to righteousness for this kingdom to be established. A lot of it death and destruction has to come before, according to the order of operations, okay? And it's being revealed who the true prophets are. The men of great millstone from the apostles and elders on down, okay? Unwavering, okay? Unmovable by the strength that Yahweh has endowed them with, okay? to understand the significance of prophecy, all right? That it's everything, okay? So with that, all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Shimei, Shai.